Hello again, I'm Steve and I'm with Do Education. I'm here with another English video for you to help you study and learn English. I have a free English website that you can come by and learn more from. I teach English every day and the way you can join me is by going to study-english-now.com. You can register to join the free classes, view all the, the lessons, preview the lessons, follow us on Twitter for updates, subscribe to the YouTube to get more access to videos like this one. Let's get started. Today's idioms are about a rain check. And a, first, before I describe the idiom, a rain check is something a store will give you if they have a discounted or an on sale product and you can say you want to go in and get the product but if the store was so busy that they sold all of the on sale product well then they will give a rain check to that customer so they are able to come back and get the discounted product or the on sale product at a later date at the same price normally then when they come back it won't be on sale but because they have a rain check it will be a discount for that person okay and so when you say I'll get a rain check it's suggesting that something that you say when you cannot accept someone's invitation to do something see if someone asks you to a party and you cannot go and you cannot attend then you can say um, you can ask them for the rain check. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to go to work. Can I, can I ask you or can I get a rain check? Can I get a rain check from you? And then that person can say, yeah, sure. I'll invite you to the next party I have. I'm sorry you can't come. And they might say, I'm sorry too. So that's, I'll get a rain check or ask somebody for a rain check. A red eye. A red eye is talking about a flight. When you're flying, it leaves late at night and you will be arriving in the morning. So we took the red eye from Seattle to New York and typically this flight is about four to five hours. So if you see they're leaving, well they leave Los Angeles at 10 o'clock so wherever they go they might be arriving early in the morning like 4 a.m. And that's called a red eye flight. Okay, the vocabulary and pronunciation today. The title is Hot or Not Parking Lot Etiquette. Parking Lot. Parking Lot. Cutthroat. Cutthroat. Mentality. Mentality. Parking Lot Rage. Parking lot rage. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Transgression. Transgression. Jerk. Jerk. So I will describe these words in the article so you can see them. So I'm going to go ahead now. Like I mentioned, the title is Hot or Not Parking Lot Etiquette by Jennifer Newman. See the first one here, cutthroat mentality. They're talking about in, in parking lots where people park their cars to go shopping. There often could, it can often be so busy that there are no parking lot spaces. A space is where you park the car. A lot is the whole area. So a lot has many parking spaces in it. And if there are many people shopping during the holiday Christmas season, then there might be very few parking spaces or parking spots to take up. So people will have a cutthroat mentality. They try to harm, not literally, but maybe they're thinking. See, mentality is just thinking, right? The word mentality means thinking and cutthroat is really you're trying to hurt someone or harm them. It doesn't mean you have to kill them. 
It just means that you are trying to hurt them and you want that parking spot. You'll do anything to get that parking spot. Santa's naughty list. When you're a child, your parents always told you about Santa and they will say, if you're not good, then you're going to go on Santa's naughty list. And naughty list means you will not get presents and you will not get gifts and you will not have a good Christmas. So the parents would tell the children this, hoping that the children will be good. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. No rolling through stop signs or zooming down lanes. See, rolling through a stop sign means if you have a stop sign, you have to stop. But if you roll through it, or if you, if you have a rolling stop or do a rolling stop, it means you are slowing down but never stopping and you roll right past it and then speed up and go. Zooming means going fast and lanes means where you drive in the parking area or the parking lot. That is a parking lane. Parking lot rage is fighting in the parking lot. All right. Limit how long you'll wait for a spot. And what they mean by this is, you know, if you are waiting in the parking lane, then you may or may not be blocking somebody behind you. You may be stopped and the people behind you want to go. So you have to be careful and be respectful. No stalking. Don't drive slow behind people. Uh, they, they are mentioning sometimes people will drive slow behind the person that is walking to their car because they know that they will eventually get in their car, pull out of the parking spot and drive away and that car who is following behind them will be able to get that parking spot. But it says here they might just be dropping off their bags before the next round of spending. So dropping off means just putting them in their car. Next round of spending could mean they buy something, they go take it in their car, and then they're going to go back and buy more. So that's the next round of spending. Park between the lines, and this means take up one parking spot or one parking space. Don't park on the line, park in between the line. See, a driver who takes up two parking spaces doesn't park between the line, they park on the line which takes up two parking spaces. And jerk is slang but it's a very common word to call somebody if they are inconsiderate, non-respectful, they don't care about anybody, so you can say he is a jerk or she is a jerk because she didn't listen or she didn't care about it. And this story was published before Christmas Day. So it was technically all about North American culture and Christmas holidays and how busy people are. And uh, usually in the small town people do relax. But in the city it, it is a very busier place. So something like this parking lot rage happens. So let me know what you think. My other classes that are coming up, if you would like to join, then go to study-english-now.com, register, and you can preview all the lesson plans, and you will also be able to join the class. So hopefully we get to meet someday. My name is Steve, and I'm with Do Education. Have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.